It's growing! Yeah, but this one is it. Ah. Hey everybody, it's Crazy Aunt Lindsay, and you are in the Fab Lab. I'm here with my Fab Lab professor. <laughs> and today, we are talking about life. Abba, do you like to eat? Yes. And what happens sometimes when you eat too fast? Right, and bourbon is just gas, and gas is a super common sign of life for all types of organisms, including plants, and that's exactly what we're going to observe today. Are you excited? Yes. We're going to use regular old baker's yeast to blow some stuff up. We're going to blow these bags up. Right, and then we're going to take the yeast and make something super fab lab delicious. Are you ready, my friend? Yes. This week's project is a Fab Lab Life Science as well as a Fab Lab Food Science project. For this project, you're going to need two packets of dry active yeast, one cup of water, sugar, two plastic baggies, and measuring devices for your sugar and for your water. First, pour half a cup of water into each of your plastic bags. Then, add your yeast into both, into both bags too. These are alive. Now the next thing you're going to do is take one teaspoon of sugar and add them to one of your plastic baggies. It's important not to put sugar in both your bags, just choose one. Now make sure you label your plastic baggies as to which one has sugar and which one does not. We use worldlabel.com to print out our super cute and super free Fab Lab labels. Now I want you to close up your resealable bags while pushing out as much air as humanly possible. Now shake the bags to dissolve the sugar and the yeast and then place them into a warm sunny windowsill and let them sit for about an hour and watch what happens. Didn't fight me so much, but this one isn't. And you still see the little buddies. Hey, don't squish me. Did you know that yeast found in things like yogurt, grapes, and even your body is actually a plant? Well, technically it's a fungi. Ew. These microorganisms, like all living things, need super nutrient-rich foods to grow and live. Today, we use yeast's favorite food, sugar, to encourage those little suckers to multiply and create energy. Yeast are unicellular, or single-cell organisms, that reproduce through a process called budding. Imagine that you're holding a stick or a twig in your hand, and magically, that stick gets longer and longer. But as it grows, it splits in half, and then in thirds, and then in fourths. Well, that's exactly how yeast organisms multiply. Now, as the yeast stick splits, it produces carbon dioxide as an energy release, or as I like to call it, passing gas. And since gas expands and tends to be hot, you can see signs of life in the form of foam and an inflating warming bag in your windowsill. Everybody loves bread. As do you love bread? Yes. Oh, me too. And yeast is the stuff that makes bread dough rise, so it's nice and fluffy. We're going to use the yeast that we used in our project today to make the most fabulous, simplest, and delicious rosemary. <laughs> rosemary peasant bread. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> now to take this project to the next level, we're going to need four cups of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, two cups of water, yeast, and fresh rosemary, or any herb that's growing in your family garden. Now, pour the contents of your yeast baggie into a bowl. Make sure you're using the one that does not already have sugar in it. Now to that, I want you to add one tablespoon of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, four cups of all-purpose baking flour, and two cups of water. Now, this is the perfect time for you to add whatever fresh herb you like. As I told you before, 
I'm a rosemary fiend, so we're using rosemary. But thyme would be so good in this project and cumin seeds could be a lot of fun. Have an experiment. Now mix all this up and let it sit for about an hour, covered in a damp, not wet cloth. When you come back, you'll see that your dough will have doubled in size. And now you know why. It has risen. Next, divide your dough into two low pans or split it up for your muffin tins. And then cover it with a damp cloth for another hour. Now pop it into an oven at 425 and let it bake for 10 minutes. Now reduce that heat to 375 and let it bake for 15 more minutes. Okay everybody, so once your beautiful bread is out of the oven, let it cool for a few minutes and then pop it out and enjoy. You can even go and see us over at the Fab Lab Emulsion Project where we learned how to make butter and you can do that for this project while you wait for your project to bake. You ready to eat? Yay. Mm, you too. I don't want butter on mine. You don't want butter on yours? I'm going to have, I might put some butter on mine. If I'll you put like, a little butter. You put a little butter? Okay. I'm going to try. I'm going to put a lot of butter on mine. So everyone, it is time for the Fab Lab wrap up. So I know that you are paying attention to me. Question number one. What is the reproduction process for yeast called? What gas is produced during the yeast reproduction process? What color is Aslan's hair? Did you like this project? Please hit the like button below and or leave a comment if you would like more projects like this and more, crazyauntlindsay.com. As always, I am on Pinterest and Twitter, at Jim Crazy and Inspirational handles Aunt Lindsay. And as always, the conversation is always in motion at Facebook slash Crazy Aunt Lindsay. Thank you for joining me. This is Crazy Aunt Lindsay and we had a snack attack today. <laughs>